Um, take care is like, or no, fire is gone is the menu music. Take care is the um, is the terminal music, right? Because this is fire is gone. I actually like this. It's kind of a nice like. It's surprisingly chill for the, uh, for the menu. It never really picks up. I'd give it like a B, maybe. Where is it? There it is. I'll give it like a B. It's pleasant enough. Nothing crazy. Um... And then this is Take Care. I kind of like Take Care, honestly. I'll give it an A. Sounds nice. D does this come from somewhere? I love to use this in, in videos because uh, it's just got a nice, like... Um, see a loop. Um, it's just got a nice, like, vibe to it. I like to use it in uh, as, like, background music for, like, more more chill parts of, uh, of videos. It's a sample from some old S song. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought. Okay, and then we get to the real shit. Into the fire, baby. Well, let's skip ahead. Easy S tier. I might even go P tier with this one. We'll go S tier. We'll go S tier. This is definitely my favorite prologue song. Um, for sure. It's iconic to Ultra Kill. It's got the title drop. Um. Yeah. It's nice. Hakita said this is his least favorite. Weird. It's very, yeah, it's nostalgic. For sure. Yeah, the next is Unstoppable Force. I like Unstoppable Force too. Uh, but the thing is, it's kind of just a rehash of Into the Fire. Like, am I crazy? I'd maybe still give it like an A tier, but... Skip ahead. It's just like Into the Fire with a little more like kind of a little mix up on the beat. Like, it's good. Where is it even? Unstoppable Force. I'll give it like an A. It's good, it just doesn't like... I don't know. Does it make it worse? A little bit, to me, yeah. I think it's a little worse than Into the Fire. I like it, but... It's not as iconic as Into the Fire. Uh, and then there's Cerberus, which I believe we can play it. I think this is just Into the Fire slowed down like 50% or something. It kind of sounds sick now that I'm listening to it, but yeah, I mean, again, it's another reuse. Easy P tier. Uh, no, I'll give it like a C tier. It fits like the vibe of what's going on on the screen, but it is literally just slowed down into the fire. So C tier. Thousand greetings. This is the intro song for uh, for Limbo. It has kind of like a pleasant vibe, but it's not really. It's kind of unremarkable. Not special, yeah. I would maybe toss this in C as well. Maybe even D. I will say, the thing is, uh, I definitely don't not like any of the music in this game. But there are definitely song some songs that serve their purpose better than others. I'll give it- I'll, I'll be honestly a little bit generous and give a thousand greetings a C, because I think it fills its, uh, its niche well. It's just not that, like, memorable or, uh, or significant. It's just kind of nice background music for the intro to Limbo. What I like, though, is this motif here, like the dun 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 When you go into a Shattered Illusion, that gets used. I- I really like a Shattered Illusion. I think this might be... One of the more underrated tracks in this game. I 
I'm thinking high A tier, low S tier for this. I'll put it above. I'll put it in A tier above. Take care. Oh yeah, and that the little breakdown there. Ah, uh, that's fucking sick. Uh, and then we have everyone's favorite, a complete and utter destruction of the senses. You guys like this one, right? Everyone's a big fan of this song. This is pretty much a, a fan favorite, always. This one is ass. I will fight you. This goes fucking hard as hell, and you cannot- You cannot convince me otherwise. Um, okay, so here- I'm gonna actually pause this because it's- it's kind of loud and abrasive in my ears. Uh, so here's what I'll say with this one. I like it. I do like it. And I respect, um, because I- uh, I'm sure everyone here follows Sakita on Twitter, but if you follow him on Twitter, you probably see a lot of his, like, music opinions and, uh, and vinyl acquisitions and stuff. Um, he is a big fan of a lot of abrasive and basically just noise music. Um, and I respect- if he, even if he only did it once, that he turned one track in the game's soundtrack into that. I think that's, that's pretty bold. Uh, and not only that, but it works for the level it's in really well as well. That said, if it went on any longer, I think it would be too much. Um, I'm going to put it at high B and leave it at that. It's very, like, uncomfortable for what's, like, going on uh, on the screen. Sanctuary in the Garden of, of the Mind, is this witless... Yeah, it's just ambience, basically. It's nice, like, it sounds nice. It's kind of like a thousand greetings. It's like a thousand greetings, but more boring. Acknowledging that I think it's fine and that it works for what it is, I'm throwing it in D just because it's pretty unremarkable. It's kind of a watered down version of thousand greetings. Oh, but next up... Banger. One that I was just hearing a lot. <laughs> it's so good. It's easy P tier. Yeah. We're just gonna vibe. So goddamn good. It's so goddamn good. P rank flashbacks. I honestly didn't have that much trouble P ranking that level because, uh,. I just soaked hideous mass. <laughs> I'm going P tier with it. I'm going P tier with it. You can't stop me. It's so good. It's so good. That, that's definitely the best track in the game at that point. Um, I mean, Claire de Lune. I don't even know how you rank this. Because Claire de Lune, of course, is like a... Um, a masterpiece of... You thought you needed to beat Agony and Tundra for P rank? Oh, my sweet summer child. I feel so bad for you. <laughs> A tier? Um, yeah, I could get down with an A tier. Where is it, actually? I don't see it. Claire de Lune. Here it is. Yeah. I'll put it above Take Care, below Shatter Delusion. Um, Claire de Lune obviously is just like an all-time masterpiece. Its use in the, uh, the V2 level is very well done. It's a nice, like, change of pace. You walk in there, everything's dark, and, uh, um, and Claire de Lune is playing, which is crazy. Uh, it's a very big change of pace at that point in the game. Um, and it's an interesting choice of song to use for it. But it is just a great song on its own. So I'll, I'll toss it in A tier for this game. That Like, acknowledging that, like, obviously this song is like a fucking masterpiece. Uh, I'm putting it in A tier just because of its context in the game. Next up, though. S tier, but is it above Into the Fire? I think so. I think it's above Into the Fire. Top of S, yeah, is a good place for it. P tier. If I listen to everything chat said, every song would be in P tier, except for uh, a complete and utter destruction of the senses. Oh, I love the synth breakdown too. Man, it's so good. Da, 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 da. One thing that I really respect about this game, uh, honestly, I could just keep the music going, but these tunes making me sleepy. That you're the first person to ever say that. That's exactly what I was gonna say. Um, 
leg legatus whatever I, I don't know how to say your name i apologize that's exactly what i was gonna say is that uh almost every like boss theme in this game fits the boss really well and like has like a rhythm that kind of goes with the fight um and i feel like that's especially true of v2 it's maybe even the most true of v2 um, but because v2 has like such a specific kind of fighting style and the song is like a little bit different in that it's not as like uh you know fast and break core um i think it fits really well is cyber grind on this list i'm not sure actually yeah it is it's right there cold winds now i don't not like cold winds but as like level tracks go this is not my favorite it has like a nice vibe to it that really sets the tone for for lust but it never really picks up all that well it's kind of got that just like brooding presence to it yeah i think b is probably fair i'll put it top of b for right now What's next? Requiem? Requiem, I used to kind of feel the same way uh, about, but Requiem has grown on me a little bit. There's a breakdown part later. Hang on, hang on. Let me... Oh, yeah, this part. Yeah. Still, though, it's not like... It doesn't, like, really get my blood pumping. It, it like, it's good. I think, I think B tier is fair for that. All right, here's Requiem. I feel like Requiem kind of does what, uh, what Cold Winds is doing better. It's got that kind of, like, sad, brooding sound, but it picks up and kind of gets, like, a nice, like, it has, like, a nice pace to it. I think I'm going to go high A, yeah. Maybe below Shattered Illusion. Maybe top. Maybe low S? It kind of sounds like Minos' theme. It is, it is Minos' theme, yeah. Yeah, so Requiem established the, um, the leitmotif that is used in Minos' theme. So Requiem came first because obviously the city that you're in on that level is Minos' city. Um, and then it, it gets called back to in order. But yeah, I think maybe just because I like the character of Minos so much, it's grown on me. But I, I think the sound of Requiem has just grown on me too. Enough that I'll say it's a low S tier. Panic Betrayer, kind of fire. This song kind of goes. I don't know how I feel about this like, this like flanger effect that it has on it. I don't even know what you want to call that. Phaser, maybe? Water effect? Yeah, actually, that makes sense. I'm feeling an A tier. Yeah. Pa Panic Betrayer is really different uh, from everything else in the game, kind of. Hi, A? Yeah, I'll maybe put it... Is it I think it's better than Shattered Illusion, yeah. In the presence of a king, okay. Ooh. I think this is another song slowed way down. You got like the ambience. It sounds like something is kind of like playing far off away down the tunnels and then... And then it drops and it's just noise, basically. And I, I believe this is another song that's just uh, slowed way down. Like, here's the thing. It fits the vibe of the boss fight. So I won't put it... I won't put it all the way down in what? <laughs> but I am going to put it in D. Because I, I just don't enjoy listening to it. But it, it works for the fight, and that's kind of... Um, that's kind of all that really matters. Guts. I'm not going to lie. Guts and Glory have never really grown on me. And I think that may be an unpopular opinion.
Guts kind of has the vibes, you know? It's like the, oh shit, I'm, I'm in the belly of the beast. Things are about to get real. Is the called version of Glory slowed down by like 300%? Oh, I didn't realize this was a, a slowed down one too. Yeah, it sounds cool though. Like for being just a slowed down track. I could, I could huck it and see. I, I could get behind a C here. What's up, Suggestive? You know, it does have a pretty nice melody. Maybe this song is growing on me in real time. Let's skip, skip to the end. Yeah, it's nice. I like it. A? I don't think this is S. I'll give it an A, though. Below Requiem. This is my tier list, not chat's tier list. And I'm thinking right about there. F tier. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, it's better than I remembered, honestly. I think A tier is fair for me, though. Ah, uh, yes. Some Bach. It is funny how this starts with, like, Tuvan throat singing. <laughs> You're forgetting the part where I take over the stream? Shh, not yet, Dave. Um, uh... <laughs> and then it turns into organ. Um. Hum. Hum. Uh, I don't really care for it, to be honest. Um, it, it sets the tone for the level pretty well, but I'm feeling like this is another, another D tier, honestly. Uh, the, the sort of, the organ intro has a better execution in 6 too. Hum. <laughs> That's almost like, wow. <laughs> Divine intervention. Banger. Not as good as verses, I don't think, but it is a banger. I love just like the sweeping guitar and then the harpsichord or whatever in the background. No way this is an A, this is an S, come on. Maybe below in, uh, into the fire. So good. And then there's Disgrace Humiliation. Too repetitive? It's it's like two minutes long. <laughs> Nothing but scrap. Well, he doesn't say that in that fight. I'm not even gonna lie, I've never I rarely ever think of this of this track. It's fine. Like, it's fine, I guess. Low C. <laughs> I guess. Let's fucking go! Uh, I don't think it's P though, I'm sorry. Uh, I just don't enjoy the style of music that that is in as much as I enjoy uh, Hakita's music or even the Kijin Church collab. I would put it maybe, uh, maybe low S. I just don't, I don't enjoy that style as much. I think it's executed well, it hypes me up, it sounds good, it's just not, I just don't enjoy the, the style of it as much. Well, a lot of people think it's straight up the best fucking uh, song in the game. I'm just dragging the music box to what? I don't, uh, who cares about that? Uh, okay. I guess on the tier list next is Sunshine, which, like... <laughs> this kind of just is another one that just is what it is. Kind of just is what it is, but it's not bad. It's like, give it a C, I think. 
Maybe here. Existential dread, my beloved. Yeah, it's one of those things where like it's impossible to kind of factor out the the context of the level from it. It's not maybe something I would I would e for existential crisis. <laughs> sure, why not? I'm gonna get. Oh no, hang on. Cancel. 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 What color are we? Gray. Gray like my existence. <laughs> uh, and then, Spinal Staircase. I kind of like the Spinal Staircase. I don't- I, I think its cap is maybe like a B. But, there are few songs in the game that are as effective as like setting- a, setting the tone for something. And I can't imagine the spinal staircase without, like, the, the far away fucking fading out music, like, like the caretaker or some shit. Um, so, I think I'm gonna be a little bold and, and huck this the and be. The spinal staircase is even better if you account for the light motifs in other yeah, songs. Yeah, true, true. Low A. I think I think I'm not gonna go higher than a B because it, it's really short and kind of um uh, it doesn't have the same impact as something like Chaos and Order. But um Yeah, it's good. It's good. Short and sweet. Gets the job done, sounds creepy. Um and then we have Chaos. I think Chaos might be the most uh debated, hotly debated, controversial track that Hakita has ever released, except for maybe uh, Complete and Utter Destruction of the Senses, but a lot of people hate this one. It is not ear rape. Could you imagine Flesh Prison with a different song than this? I'm going low S. Maybe bottom of S. Hot take alert. That is, I don't think that's as hot of a take as you think it is. Uh, I mean, do I even need to... Do I even need to say anything about this one, dude? So good. The the intro music with the speech like straight up still to this day like just gives me a little like ooh. Little goosebumps. It's good. Best song in Act One for sure. Yeah, the I mean this is amazing as like background music for the speech for sure. Bloodborne fans will eat this track up like crack. Shush order. True. It's so good. Easy P. Yeah, and it's got the Requiem uh, motif in it. I don't remember where that is. I'm looking for it. Here it is, I think. Nope, not yet. Turning it down just a little. There it is. I got the end of it. Anyways, great song. Great song. Possibly the best in the game. I haven't quite decided yet. Um, insert disc 2. What even is this? It's nothing. <laughs> it's nothing. It's nothing is what it is. Dune Eternal. This is a good one. I don't know if it's my favorite, but it's good. Let me just kind of jog my memory here. Yeah, I feel I can see the Cold Winds comparison. Need to put in the second disc for the rest of the tier list. True, Coom Eternal. Thank you, Flippy. You're Flippy in spirit. 
I still think this goes harder than Cold Winds. Maybe top of B, like Cold Winds. Yeah, I kind I like the guitar breakdown, but it never really, it never really goes like, it never quite hits the heights that I want it to. Top of B. Top of B. Sands of Tide, though. Oh, man. Oh, man. Hi, S or P. I can get behind that, honestly. S tier is getting really crowded. This is probably still my favorite level in the game. If, if not, then 5-3 is. I love the, like, whistling. P tier is not crowded, that's true. And this is a legit contender. We gotta listen to the end, too. For the Sisyphus part. I love this ending. This ending might make it a P for me. I'm not sure. It's also four minutes and 20 seconds long. Easy P tier. Let's go. <laughs> Dancer in the Darkness. I like Dancer in the Darkness. I, I was surprised to hear some people don't like this one. I spelled crisis wrong. I hate all of you and it will never change. <laughs> ah, <laughs> understandable. Have a nice day, sir. You got good atmosphere at the beginning. And then you have a pretty cool breakdown at the end. I might be inclined to agree, though, that it never quite hits the uh it never quite hits the levels that i want it to it's maybe below dune eternal above cold winds i i'm feeling like i can't go a with this one wish the ending went harder yeah what about secret level music i'm just going in the order of what i have here um dual i, I almost feel like we don't even need to discuss this one Yeah, I think Duel is the better version of Versus, indeed. So this is probably low P, yeah. You missed the buildup? I just wanted to get right to the meat. I wanted to get right to the meat. I like this, like, halftime breakdown. I think the first one does that too, but it sounds cooler in Duel for some reason. <laughs> It kind of has more of like a, has more of like a finality to it too, which obviously makes sense. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's P. Is it better than Sands of Tide? I don't know. I actually maybe think it's not better than Sands of Tide, but it is, it is good. It's better than Versus. It deserves P tier for sure. Yeah, the ending, the ending fucking goes. Um, it's just got more like kind of, kind of, wow, finality. Than, um, than Versus does, which again makes sense because it's the final fight with V2. Alright boys, you've been waiting for it. This one? Yeah, this is a P tier for sure. The P tier might end up pretty crowded. That's a good point. I don't know if this version that I have has the sax in it or not, but we can talk about it. You get the build up. We gotta, we gotta hear the drop. It's gonna be P, guys. It's P. 
The soundtrack version does, the single version doesn't. I actually have both, but I believe this is the soundtrack version. Akita tried out to make a banger challenge impossible. So true. So true. Yeah, I love this, like, melody right here, too. Yep. Below Castlevania, above Sands of Tide? That seems fair. I actually think my biggest complaint about this song has nothing to do with the song itself. It's more just that you can never really hear it when you're in the level. <laughs> you know? It's kind of like you're underwater so much that it's like it's got the like filtered effect on it. So it's only when you get out of the water that you can actually hear it. So that was kind of a bit of a tease. But like on its own, it's definitely one of the best songs in the game. Yeah, the end section. True. That's true. It still works like it, it, it's good for what it does. He is the light in my darkness. So this one's a bit weird because it's like it's like 60 percent build up. And you get the like, you get the like violins coming in. I kind of like this though. It fits this level really well. But then, Fairyman, straight up one of the hardest fucking themes in the game, dude. This boss theme goes. It goes so goddamn hard. Um, right here, I think. I love fairy, man. As a boss, as an enemy, I'm jury still out a little bit. Death Odyssey. Okay, this is a long one. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I didn't like this track when it still had MIDI in it, but now that it's finished, well, I think it might still have some MIDI in it. But a lot of the MIDI got replaced with instruments, and I think I like it a lot more now. How much do I like it, though? We may have to do some rebalancing of the S and A's here. But I am kind of feeling like an S. Like a pretty high S. I don't know if I can justify this being better than Into the Fire or Versus. But right about there feels right. What I like about this song is that it's not just called Death Odyssey. It really does sound like a fucking journey, too. Like, it just, it goes through so many, like, movements and... Like, it just keeps kind of transforming. Yeah, it's great. It's great. Honestly, oh my god, I'm, a, I'm almost feeling like... I don't know if it's better than Versus. I don't know if it's better than Versus. I don't think it's better than Versus. I don't think I can do it. But man, that song slaps. And then the Aftermath. It's good. I feel like this song, though, on its own is, is kind of nothing without the moment where the ship turns upside down. Like, I think if you just heard this, you would be like, okay. Like, it's fine. It sounds good enough. It picks up a little bit too, right? You kind of get the violins and like a little bit, a little bit more drum. Fun fact: in the P2 Weight of the World update, in the outdoor sections of five to two and five to four, lightning will strike enemies who have magnets. Nails, I did hear that. And or a drill in them for long enough. <laughs> it's kind of cool. I haven't experimented with that, but I did hear about that. I mean, it uses like the motifs from Death Odyssey. What do we think? Yeah, I would say, yeah, it's kind of right in right in leagues with Spinal Staircase. I don't think I can go C with it. I thought about C, but I, I don't think I can. I don't think I can go C with it. Below Spinal, you think? 
The only reason I'm putting it above Spinal is because this is like a, a real like original composition. Whereas Spinal Staircase is like a sampled song and then just like white noise. Um, which works very well, but I, I think this is still still has the edge over that. Abyss and the Serpent. Here's the thing with this one. Like, I get it. It, it works for this fight. And I know Hakita tried to make something different. And I, I can't say it's not successful, but I, I don't know if I care for it. Let's just skip to the... It just sounds like... piratey. It sounds like some, like, Game Boy Advance RPG music or something. It fits the mood, but I'm not sure if I just overall like it. I would go maybe, like... In terms of, like, being kind of underwhelming but fitting the mood, I'd put it in leagues with Cerberus, I think. Yeah, that's right. You get a little bit of, like, the slowed down break beats in there. Oh, yeah, it is kind of... You know, I don't know if I've ever paid that much attention to the Amen breaks. That kind of rules. I still think it's a C tier, but it's, it's a little better. Yeah, it could be maybe a little faster. Yeah, it feels quiet. You're right. It feels quiet in 5-4. In Chord of the Crooked Saints. I mean, this is just noise, right? Like, it's really effective for the level. This is like amplifier feedback. For just like the entire time. I almost don't even feel right, like, rating this as a song. Oops, not what I meant. C tier. I think it's, yeah, maybe high D tier. The thing is, everything above here is like... It is music copium. The only reason I would rate it higher is because of how good the drop into um, Altars of uh, Apostasy is. But on its own, it's not, it's not really something I would just sit and listen to. Uh, Death Crips fans will call this track music. <laughs> True. Uh, however, this, on the other hand. Hakita really made an ultra kill black metal track. And it goes hard as hell. I would say high S if it weren't for this. This might be the best, like, single minute of music in the game. It's so fucking good. Right there. Right there, yeah. I mean, honestly, put it right next to Castlevania. I don't care. Below Castlevania? I think so. Because the reason it's so good is because of the Castlevade motif. I love Castlevade. What can I say? This does go hard as fuck, though. Putting Castle... Putting Castlevane above Altars of Apostasy and Deep Blue is a crime? What are you talking about? They're all in P tier. <laughs> They're literally all in P tier. <laughs> And Castlevane fucking slaps. <laughs> they're literally all in the same tier. It may be above, but it's like they're all goaded. Fallen Angel. This goes. This might be the, the hardest build-up track in the game. And the live stream in Act 2 was airing on Hakita's YouTube channel. Hakita said Altars of Apostasy had the densest part in it. With the most having seven guitars at once. That sounds like Smashing Pumpkins or something. I like think the song Cherub Rock has like 20 guitar tracks on it. But that's cool. Wait, is this? Yeah, this is Fallen Angel. They're out of order. Wait, Halls of Sacred Religious Remain is just the end of... I'm not ranking this because it's just the end of Altars of Apostasy. I'm ranking them together. Let's put it in what? <laughs> 
people will skip to the end of the VOD and be like, you put, you put it in what? <laughs> what the fuck is that? I'm just ranking them together. Uh, Fallen Angel's great. I'm thinking A. Right alongside Glory, maybe. We'll put it right by Claire Delude. Because I think, I think those two tracks fit a similar purpose. They're very different, but they, uh, they fit a similar purpose. Yeah, what does it say? It's an ad adaptation of Bach BWV639. I don't know what that means, but that's what it is. Yeah, I think it's great. I think it's probably the most effective build-up track in the game. For sure. Death of God's Will. The better version of Gabriel's theme, without a doubt. It might suffer a little bit from, like Dave said before, about uh, Divine Intervention being a little bit more repetitive. Yeah, the MIDI version didn't do it justice. Oh, Ultra Kill fans love the bussy. <laughs> Debussy. How do you say that? It's, it's obviously not Debussy. I said that as a joke, but... <laughs> Debussy. We'll go with that. It's a P tier. Low P tier, I think. Then silence introspection. I think this is gonna just have to go. Whenever I hear it, I imagine a violinist going crazy banging their head. Debussy. Okay. Debussy. No. Not like Gary Busey. <laughs> It's like a French name, right? French people are saying lay unironically. Of course, they pronounce that the bussy. <laughs> Holy shit. Actual opera singer reviewed this and he was in shock at how good it was. Yeah, those mar uh, mar Marco meatball or macro. I don't know what it is, but uh, those are great. I love those videos. He just had a new one, too. It was very good. This is better than disgrace humiliation, I think, but I can't go any higher than, than that. What is this? Beethoven's Seventh Symphony, Second Movement, Allegretto, an excerpt for piano. Where is this in the game? Everyone should put keep them coming when war comes to being ranked. <laughs> Are you trying to give me PTSD? Oh, it's when he kills the council. I mean, it's good. It's good, but the fact that I didn't remember it is kind of like... Tells you everything you need to know. <laughs> Beethoven is mid. I'm just going to put it with the other Gabriel outros. Uh, the song that plays in the level colloquially known as 4S. Alright, I have this one downloaded now. It is just MIDI, but it kind of goes... Dun, 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 dun. Leviathan track and C, heresy? Nah, bro. <laughs> Sorry, but nah. It's a goofy track. It, like, fits the vibe of this level really well. Yeah, I think a B seems kind of fair. Right there. Mid B. Oh yeah, that's right. It speeds up at the end too, for the rock part, or the the Maurice part. <laughs> if you can't play your Ultra Kill music on a Windows ninety five MIDI software, is it even music? You're asking the important questions here. Um, what's next? Right, the intro to P two. <sighs> it's got the same like kind of vibe as the Spinal Staircase, but I don't know if it's quite as effective. Because it's really just a fake out for uh, Tenebre Rosso Sangue. B or C? I think I, I feel like I need to go a little bit lower than Spinal Staircase. Maybe right around there. 
But the rain. It is kind of cool. Like, it's kind of cool, but I just don't know if it leaves the same impression that the Spinal Staircase does. It is more calming than Spinal Staircase. So this... This one kind of... It doesn't leave as much of an impression. Spinal Staircase, like, slowly builds up that, like, creepy feeling. I like how that ends with, like, the actual, like... <laughs> that's funny. Pandemo... Wait, no. Where is it? Where is Tenebre? Here it is. Dude. <laughs> Dude. It's so fucking good. It somehow fits the vibe of the game, feels distinct, and is like, just... Wah! It's perfect. I don't think it's better than Order, but it is amazing, man. I'll explain in a second, but man. Gotta get to the breakdown. I love this part. So good. So good, so good, so good. The only reason I think I will say that it's not as good as Order is that Order... Order is like a distinctly Ultra Kill song. And I think it's it's the best one just in the way that it like complements the character, sounds like the rest of the soundtrack, uses motifs from the rest of the soundtrack. Like it, you could just like, you can just feel like the, the love and care that Hikita put into making Order as good as it is. Um, it's not to say that... Uh, Tenebri Rosso Sangue isn't a banger, but it is also like, it kind of just exists. It, it's, uh, order does not exist in a vacuum in the same way that, uh, Tenebri Rosso Sangue does. They did a great job, but, um, but order, man, uh, it's just, it's too good. It's too good to put, uh, TRS over it. Order doesn't have idled mind flares. Also true. Pandemonium is better than chaos. Let's listen to it. Because it goes so fast in the level. I definitely think I like it. It is funny. It is so similar to Chaos. It is funny to me that people are like, I hate Chaos, but I love Pandemonium. But yeah, I like it. I definitely like it. I almost kind of just want to put it right next to Chaos. My brother in Christ, this is the same song. It's more structured, I can see that. Again, Chaos though is called Chaos, it's in the name. Oh, that's kind of nice. I don't even think I've ever listened to it that far into the song. Um, right around here. Hydrate. C. I think it's better than Chaos, but not by much. I think they're pretty interchangeable. Keep them coming. Time to hear my take on war. I really want to kind of sit down and just listen to Keep war. Keep them coming. Because I, I, I have the benefit of having listened to order front to back a bunch. But war... I mean, I heard it a lot while I was fighting Sisyphus, but I haven't, like, kind of sat down to listen to it. Now, the intro, I will say, is not as good. It is good, but the intro is not as good as the intro to order. Pandemonium was used in the trailer? I'm not sure what you mean, I guess. The intro is too quiet in game? Maybe. They did make Sisyphus louder, too. That might be part of it. They buffed the audio, exactly. 
See, and the drop doesn't hit like Order does either. I'm kind of feeling between Deep Blue and Death of God's Will. Beep who coming? Yeah, the Sands of Time is, is uh, or uh, Sands of Tide is the best part in this for sure. I don't think it's a, I don't think it's a water, I'm just going to keep it playing in the background. I don't think it's a watered down order. I just don't think that the fight with Sisyphus has the like emotion behind it that the fight with Minos does. And I think the song reflects it, but I think it's not as good as a result. It does have some good, like, little breakdowns throughout it, though. But yeah, Sisyphus isn't the same character as Minos, which I like. No, I know, I'm just explaining why it may not feel as impactful as Order to some people. And I kind of agree, honestly. This part kind of, this part kind of shreds. He just wants to throw hands. So true. People just seem seem to have wanted Minos 2.0. I, I feel like that's not true. I feel like more people feel like it's too similar to Minos. That's, that's the argument I've been seeing the most, which I don't agree with that either. But yeah, I feel like most people are unhappy about how similar to Minos he is. Which I can see more so than... Oh, you mean in regards to his character? Yeah, I guess. But, like... But you can understand why people might latch onto a character that's sympathetic more than one that's kind of a psycho, right? Like, I think Sisyphus is cool. But, like, people are... Sorry, I have to pause it to think. Um, but people are, like, more sympathetic to Minos because he's, like... He's a largely good character in the lore. Um, so, that I think that's why people resonate with Order a little bit more. Um, that said, I do think this is S tier. I'm feeling like between Deep Blue and Death of God's Will is where I'm, I'm willing to put it for now. Sympathetic. <laughs> uh, yeah, I agree that P1 might have set the standard too high. At least for, like, the, just the, like, the, qu the raw quality of everything. I think P2 is really good. Um, no hit motif. Yeah, we can get to that. I don't know how deep into the song that is, though. Oh, it's, like, coming right up, isn't it? It's right after this. Yeah. Says this is a Giga Chad for his death speech. I do like his death speech better than Minos's, I think. Yeah, that's great. This is the best part, I think, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, I think maybe the my the final thing I'll say on this is that the while the fight with Sisyphus is good and cool, um it doesn't feel like as much of it doesn't feel like the character needed uh as much resolution as Minos did. Does that make sense? Like when you fight Minos, it feels like a nice like kind of like you put a bow on everything, you know? With Sisyphus it's kind of like, yeah, we fought him, but like, you know, it kind of just was what it was, I guess. Um, I still like it a lot, and I still like the song a lot, but I just don't think it hits as hard as Minos. That's all I'm saying. Lakeside Songbook. Oops. Um, why does why does Tear Maker work this way? I say good morning <laughs> to this song. I say good morning. <laughs> uh, I have to see. I have to know. Doesn't 5S have like four different versions depending on the time? Yeah, it changes as you go. Like here. Ooh, I like the snapping. I can turn this. This one's a little quiet for some reason.
This reminds me of, like, Animal Crossing hourly music. Is that weird to say? Like, you know how the Animal Crossing music changes, like, a little bit every hour? This is kind of like that. <laughs> Do you guys catch the size 2 fish yet? Yeah, I did. Imagine if someone hadn't caught a size 2 fish yet. That would be kind of cringe, wouldn't it? Cruelty Squad house music. <laughs> Honestly, that entire level gives, like, Cruelty Squad house vibes. Size 3 wed. Five S two. Yeah, this is nice. I'm keeping it in the good morning tier for memes, but uh, is that it? We've done them all. There you go. There you go. The long-awaited, much requested, ultra kill music tier list. Um, is there anything we want to move? I feel pretty good about this. It's actually pretty balanced. I think I'm good about this. Rename, rename the tier to if it were a good morning, I'd be fishing and put it below what? <laughs> yeah, but it is a good morning because I am fishing. Move order to a whole other tier. <laughs> put it, I'll make it die. Die, but with Riz. <laughs> Prepare thyself. There you go. Prepare thyself. With Riz. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, prepare thyself is good. Not PP tier. Well, hey, if it was PP tier, Sisyphus should probably be up there too. <laughs> Isn't Crisis written with a Y? No, that's just the video game Crisis. <laughs> no, this is the correct way to spell Crisis. I did have it spelled wrong originally. Court of Crooked Saints is P for sure. I don't know about that. What even is that one again? Oh, that's just like the, the drone, yeah. Sisyphus P rank when eventually. I'm working on I'm working on learning the level off stream, because I don't think anyone wants to see that. That's a lie. People would watch that, but it would be it would be pain. Oh fuck, the music's really loud. Complete and utter destruction of the senses is P for real for real. Yeah, the drone I mean the drone works, but I just can't like on its own. I don't know. Yeah. You gonna do any tier lists on Pizza Tower? Maybe when I finish it. People would backseat the hell out of you if you did it live. That's the thing. I wanna just like develop my own strategy and just and just come on stream and do it. Not too good to get after the idle glitch got patched. Lucky you doing it before. I guess you also did it before Sisyphus could be parried phase two, though. I've gotten a lot better at Sisyphus, uh, which was pretty much a guarantee because I couldn't get worse. <laughs> but I, I think I've gotten a lot better. Um, I've done I've done like two sessions worth of practice, and each time I've killed him a lot faster. <laughs> so uh, 